Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm diagnosing a no start problem in my 2015 F-150 and it has a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So I just came out to go to the store today, put the key in, turn it forward, nothing. Okay, so on the screen, we're getting a bunch of errors, parking brake, limited function, hood ajar, to turn the key again. Hill start assist not available. C manual. Got a wrench light. Low engine oil pressure. So there's something going on here. So my first thought is the starter. All right, so there's really only a few tools we'll need to kind of diagnose this. The most important thing, the owner's manual. Helps to have just a little multimeter. And in this case, I've got this little jumper wire that's made up of two male spade terminals and a heavy gauge wire. I'll show you why. So first thing to check is obviously use your multimeter and check battery voltage. I, I'm pretty sure it's not the battery though because everything in the truck is working fine. Um, I even tried the blower motor. Everything seems to be powered fine. And I do have over 12 volts at the battery. So right here is our relay and fuse center and pretty much everything we need to diagnose this problem should be right here so i turn on the manual let's see right here it's a diagram of our fuses and our relays okay so like i just said my first instinct is the starter is bad and you can crawl into the truck and um, check for voltage at the starter but before you go crawl into the truck there's a simple test we can do up here so what we want to look for is our starter relay Let's see. it's one of these big ones in the middle Starter relay 65. So if we look at the page 65, turn kind of the book the way that it looks. So 65 is this relay right up here, kind of by itself. This is our starter relay. So there's a couple things you can do. You can just try swapping it with another relay, see what happens. This is where this little jumper comes into play right here because if I jump the two big terminals, it simulates the relay activating. That will tell me right away if it's the starter. So. All right, so obviously our starter and our solenoid are good because you just heard the engine crank over. Again, we'll wanna switch out this relay with another good relay. So. In my case, there's these two relays back here in the corner. They're both the same high power Ford relay style. And those are for telescoping mirrors. And I do not have telescope mirrors in this truck, number one. Number two, I wouldn't care if they didn't work for a minute. So that's a good place to grab a relay from uh, because it's not really important. Uh, you can, obviously you need your PCM to run, you need your fuel pump and all that stuff to run, but the telescope mirror isn't that important. So take one of these, stick it in here and We'll see what happens. Turn it forward, nothing. Okay, so that did not fix the problem. So I'm gonna stick that relay that I pulled out back in. So next thing we wanna check for is our fuses, our main power fuses. You can see on all these fuses right up here in the front, they have little windows and you can actually just look at them quickly to see if they are blown. Also, there's this little relay right here. If you look in the manual, up in the front, it is 59, 30 amp, re, or fuse, I mean, sorry. That is for the starter. Again, I assume that's okay, but we wanna check that because that's what fuses uh, this relay. And it is not blown. You can kind of see through the window that it's not blown. You can always pull it out and do a continuity test. 
So now it leaves us scratching our head a little bit about what the problem is. We know the starter is good, but for some reason, when we turn the key, this is not being energized and not sending voltage down there. So if this were an older vehicle, we would think ignition switch, but everything is computer controlled on newer vehicles. Now, if you're wise to this, you already know the problem just based upon what you saw when I tried to start the truck. So if you remember all those screens that were, all those messages that were flashing on the instrument cluster and the truck wouldn't start, that's trying to tell us something. That's not telling us that we have a bad starter. That's telling us that module, the module has lost communication. So the instrument cluster is freaking out because it cannot communicate with either the body control module or the instrument cluster, or I mean the PCM. So I immediately suspected the PCM just after seeing those messages. So I started looking at all the fuses for body control module, the PCM. I just basically checked everything that powers that. And you can find all those just by going through here and looking. We're looking for powertrain control module. Um, and then that's where I stumbled across this. Powertrain control module relay 66. So if I look on the diagram, number 66, it's this one right here. So again, pull this out. I'm not going to jumper it because it's the PCM. Pull out our donor relay. We're going to stick it in here. And then we're going to see what happens. All right. So another clue, there's nothing on the mileage screen. Huh. And the truck just fired right up. So all the issue was, was a bad relay for the PCM. All right, so always happy to see that it's just a relay that's the problem and not the PCM, itself, PCM itself. Obviously, if it wasn't the relay, we'd have to diagnose further, check your connections, make sure someone hasn't chewed the wires. And worst case scenario, your PCM could go bad. But like I said, I was clued in right away because I am used to this type of work and know what I'm looking at by all those messages on the screen. It told me right away that there was a module communications error and it could have been the connection to the PCM. It could have, but more likely as it was in this case, it was lack of power to the PCM. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that telescope and mirror uh, relay in here. Um, just because I don't like to leave stuff not right, I'm gonna go ahead and order some. I don't have any on hand, and then I'll stick one back in there. It's good to have just in case this happens some other time while you're on the road. The high speed cooling fan relays, which are over here and here, are known to go bad on these trucks all the time. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful. Just a quick diag and repair on my 2015 F-150. Took me about 10 minutes to figure it out, and then I was headed down the road. All right, if the video helped you out, be sure to like it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Subscribe for more, and until next time, we'll see you later.